When there is turmoil surrounding us, when life is moving too fast and there is chaos all around, when normal no longer exists and confusion envelops us, when new information hits us in the face at every direction we turn and we are faced with pain and loss and trauma and our world just doesn't feel trustworthy anymore, how do we weather that storm? In what port do we drop anchor? To whom do we turn for comfort and wisdom? Life as we know it changed dramatically for most in the first half of 2020, and there is much transformation still to come. World events in those six months have provided an opportunity to question everything those of us born into the developed world after 1950 have ever known. Wounds that have been covered over, left to weep and fester in tight smothering bandages, have now been ripped open. Eyes that have remained so successfully shuttered by carefully controlled release of information are now flying open to the realities we have allowed in our ignorance and our fight to maintain our modern day comforts and our beliefs that maintaining that status quo is the only way to ensure success for the greater good. For most people living today, this is an unprecedented time in our history when more is uncertain than certain where safety nets have been ripped from underneath lifestyles that teeter on a tightrope of little substance. And we are left trembling in fear, or angrily fighting for rights we believe are God-given, or tearfully pleading for rights that undoubtedly are God-given and have been unceremoniously stripped from us by a mightier, more heavily armoured force wanting merely to gild their own lilies at all others' expense. The choices we make in charting these new and unexplored waters will determine and define the history we are creating with each passing day. The question we must ask ourselves is, am I prepared to be led blindly into the unknown? Or, will I lead with determination, strength and courage by an exemplary example of love, compassion, wisdom and humanity, secure in the knowledge that I can make a difference, that I can choose to live for the good of all, not only the greater, and that success never comes from destruction, suppression, untruth, nor from the taking of the lives and livelihoods of others. I choose not to stand outside of the storm, ignorant of its presence and the havoc it is wreaking. I choose not to stand amidst the turbulence of the storm, contributing to its chaos, destruction, misery and death. I choose to stand in the eye of the storm, a calm, strong, grounded, compassionate, loving force offering safe harbour to those who most need it, offering to let the silenced be heard, to be held, to be honoured, to be felt, and I choose to learn from the mistakes of the past and ensure that I always, always stand strongly with those who lead with compassion, kindness and love for the good of all. Hi creatives, Karen here, mixed media artist and creative at By the Wolf Moon. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to share with you a artwork that I have created um, in the last couple of days to try and express some of the emotions and feelings that I have been having. I needed to get them from out of me and onto a page and at the same time I wanted to really express myself in words the words that you heard at the start of um, this video. I really believe that this is a time of great discomfort for so many people and the best way that I can help as many people as possible is to guide them to express themselves creatively. A blank page is a safe space to put down everything that you are feeling, to put down all your worries and hurt. And sometimes we just can't find the words to express those feelings. And that's when I find creating with paper and paint and pencil and crayon so, so helpful in getting my emotions and feelings to 
be heard and explored and valued. And so that's why I turn to my art journal in times like this, when I just don't know what to do with myself, when I don't know how I can help anyone or what I can do. Um, and I'm so grateful that I've been given this gift of creativity and that I'm able to share it with all of you. I really hope that you are managing to navigate these uh, stormy waters we are in at the moment, that you are looking at your fellow human beings with compassion and love, that you are hearing them and that you are standing strong and firm in your beliefs that we cannot let the atrocities of the past have been in vain. We have to have learnt from them and we have to ensure that they never ever happen again. There is much healing to be done in this world, physical, mental and emotional. So much healing still to do and I hope that I will at least see that start to happen within my lifetime. Um, I know that the best place to start is with ourselves. We have to heal ourselves first. We have to be open to healing ourselves. We have to be open to putting a stop to the history of past generations. We have to take a stand against history continuing to repeat itself and we need to do that by opening our hearts we need to do that by um, understanding that there are no winners here no one is winning at life we are all in this together and every single one of us has the opportunity to choose to do things differently. We can start right now and say, I am going to do things differently. I am going up to open my heart and I am going to live with compassion and with love. We have the opportunity now to say, I don't want to win at all costs anymore. I want to live a fulfilling, kind, compassionate life. I don't want to win at the expense of others. I don't want to spend my days judging those who don't have the blessings that I have, judging those who choose to live by different life choices. I don't want to live in hate anymore. I don't want to live in fear. I don't want to live in a state of anxiety. I want to be free from that pressure I have been putting on myself and I don't want to win anymore. I don't want to win anymore. I don't want to be richer. I don't want to be more successful. I don't want to be more educated. I don't want to... I just want to be able to offer my children the hope that there is a better world out there. I want my children to know that they are capable of making the world a truly better place, a more loving place, a more compassionate place, a place where we are free to be free, where we 
don't have to compete to be the best anymore where we are all truly equals with equal opportunity with equal rights with um, equal love and compassion in our lives just for simply being alive and on this planet with our fellow human beings and I know there are many 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 people who will say that that is an idealistic view and simply not possible and maybe you're right maybe it's not possible in the short term but in the long term I think if we all actually chose to live differently to live more equally and to stop trying to win then this world could be a much more peaceful loving compassionate place for all beings living on it and it starts right now with us making a choice to live differently making a choice to stop perpetuating the mistakes of the generations that have come before us we need to choose a new path and we need to do it now it's time for us all to come together now it is time to learn from our past and to heal the conflicts to move forward in a more peaceful and progressive manner where every living soul is supported in love and compassion on this planet the healing starts right now with you open your heart to healing and let the love flow thank you for joining me today I hope you made it to the end it was pretty intense I am going to leave you now to watch the end of the video in peace and I will see you next time with a hopefully less intense video <laughs>